Next question is from Way Too Fit. <laughs> Can a 10 to 15 minute trigger session every day be beneficial beneficial for muscle gain and fat loss if the client has time restrictions with work? Yeah, trigger sessions have tremendous oh, value. They're, uh, they're the best for that. They're incredible for that. So a trigger session essentially is a short, and I usually say eight to 10 minutes, right? Eight to 10 minute mini, and I hate, I use the word lightly, workout. But essentially what you're doing is you're, um, you're you're doing a low to moderate intensity uh, workout. You're aiming for a little bit of a pump. Uh, yeah, it's like you, a pump session. Yeah, or you can make it more mobility focused. And you do it shortly. And ideally, you do several of these a day, two or three of these a day. When I do trigger sessions uh, every time, it's like within three or four days, I could tell a difference in my muscle shape. I could tell a difference in fat loss, uh, energy, everything. It's uh, how, very how in depth did you go in the book in this? With trigger sessions? Yeah. Um, I didn't talk about trigger sessions. Oh, you didn't at all? No, no I, I kept it very basic because we're talking, and here's the thing, I actually- It's kind of an advanced technique. Yeah, and, and here's the thing, like uh, in, in the resistance training revolution, I talk about sets, reps, oh, yeah, tempo. Right. Like, you know, you got to imagine the average person that you're right, talking right. to. Your first want, introduction to weights yeah. in general. But I mean, trigger sessions are not advanced in the sense that they don't, they only benefit advanced people. No, no. It's just, it's you got to get the basics first. It's, it's an advanced concept, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I mean by yeah, advanced. Yeah. But, but yeah, no, it's, it's great. And you know, back in the day, we didn't call it trigger sessions, but I would have clients do, you know, hey, I tell you what, every morning, why don't you practice and do, you know, three sets of 10 body weight squats, which is kind of easy for you. Just do that in the morning or, you know, uh, at work every two hours, I actually used to do this with quite a few clients. I'd have them have like an alarm that would go off on their watch or something. And every couple hours, go ahead and do five minutes of this particular band exercise. And they would notice improved productivity. Mm -hmm. They'd notice, you know, a little bit of strength gains that we would see translate into our workouts. Who, like, who, was, you know it, who, who was it that did the uh, greasing the groove? Was that Pavel? Who was yeah. it? Pavel, yeah. Yeah, Pavel did that. And then Rich Piana, I forgot what he called Feeder it. Feeder sessions. Yeah, very similar co type of a concept, right? Yeah, and, and, and you know, in terms of um, uh, Dr. Ed Thomas, he applied something kind of similar, but it was more... Um, you know, basic uh, exercise calisthenic type stuff in between for school. So they would take breaks, like lots of like planned breaks where they would have these physical poses and, and different exercises that they would do. And they in turn had some of the best performance and numbers out of anybody in any kind of uh, you know competitive state around them. Yeah. Yeah. No. And if, you know what the biggest, so when I did them the first time and remember I, the story goes, I, I, I witnessed, blue collar workers in my family who had muscular body parts that correlated to their physical job, right? So, you know, like a mail carrier, they all had great calves and my, the mechanics in my family had great forearms. And the reason why I thought of trigger sessions is like, look, if you're a mechanic for 30 years, yeah, I'm sure the first few months your forearms get sore, but after that, it's now you're adapted. It's a low level intensity activity and yet they would have forearms that rivaled you know like amateur bodybuilders or whatever yeah so i thought okay there's something to this when i applied it i did not expect to feel and see some of the other effect the benefits were which were cognitive and energy wise it was like i would just feel so sharp i mean one of the reasons why we work out before we podcast now is it makes us so much sharper. Yeah. I mean, just throughout your day, just do five minutes I, of exercise. I love that. So I, when you got me doing it, I actually took our bands and I would keep it downstairs where my TV room was at and just hang it in a closet door that was in there. And I just made a habit of like, mm -hmm. if I sat watching, you know, two hours of mm -hmm. TV or something like that to just, because you know, you start to feel lethargic yep. and especially on a weekend, right? It's maybe it's a Saturday. I kind of slept in, kind of chilling. But then I catch myself where I've been just like in the couch forever, feeling even more lethargic. Now I don't even want to go get like a full workout in. Hopping up and doing a trigger session completely Dude, changed. Same my thing. I had one in the pantry and I would just like, after I was sitting too long watching TV, I'd go grab it and just do some pull aparts and get my chest, you know, up and just get my posture right. And it was like gold. And it's yeah. so easy because you're not committing to like a full no. workout. It's literally 10 minutes long, if that. And it just takes, and it's not really hard, but the, how you feel afterwards is yeah. amazing. You're aiming for maybe a little pump. Maybe you get a little burn in the muscle. Nothing e even close to intense. And here's the, the bet. I mean, in, in my opinion, here's a selling point. If you have a weak body part, let's say you're having trouble making your butt grow uh, or your, your biceps or whatever. Do the trigger sessions for that weak body part. Just do them 
on a, you know, I'd say five days a week, do a couple a day. Watch what happens to yeah. that weak body part. Yeah. It responds very, very well. 